Also coming in as Grant Spencer, the man charged with the death of college freshman Michael Gatto at a Statesboro bar, had his first day in court. His family is asking for bond, but Gatto's parents made some emotional comments pleading the opposite. Grant Spencer does not deserve to be comfortable, not when our son is in a box. GSU freshman Michael Gatto was beaten to death outside of Rude Rudy's Bar in Statesboro in August. 20-year-old Grant Spencer, an off-duty bouncer, is now charged with his murder, and today was his first court appearance. WJCL was there for the disturbing details released. Officers say Michael Gatto was beaten to death by punches to the head, leaving his skull fractured. Our own Nick Cattario was in the courtroom and explains. After spending more than a month behind bars, Grant Spencer finally got his day in court. And while Spencer asked to be sent home with his parents, victim Michael Gatto's parents argued that should never happen. In front of a packed Statesboro courtroom, a handcuffed Grant Spencer walked in. The 20-year-old faces a murder charge from the August death of fellow Georgia Southern student Michael Gatto. Tuesday was Spencer's first court appearance. It was also the first time Gatto's family got to face him. Only a heartless animal would have continued to eliminate his prey like Grant Spencer did to our son. In court, officers released more information about the deadly August incident at Rude Rudy's. They say Gatto was accused of stealing from the tip jar. Spencer, an off-duty bar employee, confronted him. Officers say that's when Gatto was punched several times in the head and suffered several skull fractures. An attack Gatto's father played out in court. He then dragged my lifeless son outside and left him for dead with brain matter pouring out of his ears and went back inside to have another drink. As for stealing from the tip jar, officers say it didn't happen. I am saying that he did nothing wrong. Spencer's attorney argued for a $35,000 bond. They called witnesses to the stand, including his mom, which made Spencer tear up. You would release them, Grant, to our care. We would make sure that he would follow every stipulation. Another issue brought up, Spencer's past. Since moving to Statesboro, he's been arrested three times once for possession of alcohol as a minor last year, a DUI at age 19 in April, and of course, the Rude Rudy's incident. No matter what happens in the courthouse, this case has already had a major impact on the Statesboro area. There's been a crackdown on underage drinking. In fact, students told us when they go to show these, their IDs at bars and restaurants now, students say the owners aren't fooling around with underage drinking. I think they're checking IDs more strictly is what I've heard. They check IDs, they watch who they give alcohol to. The judge says it could be some time before he decides whether to grant bond. Keep in mind, Spencer hasn't been indicted. The grand jury meets next month. If he's indicted, prosecutors hope to bring this to trial within a few months. Reporting in the studio, Nick Notario, WJCL News, working for you.